Topic of the day brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Odell Beckham Jr. is targeting a mid-November return after tearing his ACL back in the Super Bowl. Fans taken to Twitter to say they want him to return to the Rams. And OBJ addressed this. His response, LA knows where I wanted to be, but they didn't offer me anything. Got the lowest of low offers. Woo. Head coach Sean McVay, gentlemen, responded to the situation. He says OBJ has not yet received the Rams' final offer. Shannon, funny to see this playing out so publicly. What's going on here? Nothing. Odell isn't healthy. They were not going to – Skip, this is not the NBA. Sometimes the NBA will sign a veteran player, and Skip, the guy really not, has no value on the court, but they keep him for a locker room ple- presence. Udonis has one. Uh-huh. Uh, what's the, he was with the Lakers, Skip. You know, the, uh, uh, with the Lakers, now he's the coach on the Mavericks. Uh I can't think of the guy's name. But he, yeah, he was from Boston College, with ACC Player of the Year. Dudley. Oh, oh, oh. Jared, Jared Dudley. Dudley. Jared, Dudley. Jared Dudley. Jared Dudley. Yeah. Jared Dudley, Udonis Haslam, doesn't bring you a whole lot of value on the court, but for locker room presence, they're guys that you need to have. Okay. But NFL doesn't work like that, Skip. Those spots are too valuable, and they're not going to sign a guy and pay that guy premium money that can't help them. Right now, OBJ can't help them. He's not healthy. So I don't, and I, and I, I don't think OBJ was thinking – well, I'm three, still three, four months away. They're going to sign me, pay me eight, nine million dollars to rehab until I get healthy. Mm. They're going to have OBJ going to have to come in and he's going to have to prove that he can, he's healthy before they make a, 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 a substantial offer. And if he can help them, because obviously you look at them, Skip, they scored 80 points in, 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 in five games. That's not the Rams that we know, the, the team that was one of the top scoring teams in all of football last year. They got 80 points. Um, they thought, by silent signing Allen Robinson was going to be an upgrade. They traded Robert Woods to Tennessee, which I believe would have been – they should have been kept him. I agree. Skip, you remember when he went down to Tampa? Oh, he, he had was. that monster game with Jerry Goff. He had that monster game. He, he terrorized them. Once OBJ got hurt, it's like, well, damn, where can we go? We're scouring. And sometimes teams run into this, Skip. You look at Allen Robinson, you say, well, man, I know, but there, he had a 1,400-yard season one time with Jacksonville. Mm-hmm. He had a couple thousand-yard season. We put him with a good quarterback because, you know, Fields is a rookie, and he's not, you know, look at the quarterbacks that he had. We get him in our system. It's been an epic fail. I don't know if it's his fault. I don't know if it's Sean McVay can't scheme him up. I don't know. Uh, obviously, there's a lot going on with the offensive line and Matthew Stafford. But it's been a colossal failure. Mm. Allen Robinson to the Rams has been a failure. It has. And so this is why they're even entertaining the idea. Now, obviously, they lost Van Jefferson. He had knee surgery. He uh, he's out. So, but for me, Skip, it comes down to this. When Odell gets healthy, and he uh, obviously you're going to bring him in for a physical, when he gets healthy, someone's going to make him an, an offer. Now, I don't know if it's going to be the offer that he wants, but I do believe the Rams would like him. There's other, other, several other teams, Green Bay, um, Kansas City could use a receiver. But at this point in time, hell, do you still are you sure you want to go to the Rams? I understand it's, it's home, you got to play. That is a good question. They, they lose the games. I mean, I thought you wanted to win. So right now it doesn't look like it doesn't look like that's the best option, although that's where he would want he would like to be. Hmm. Interesting. All right. I had two huge takeaways from this right off the top. The first takeaway was I was shocked that Odell via Twitter handed the leverage to the Rams. And then I was double shocked that McVay handed the leverage right back to Odell. (laughs) And I don't get either play because I thought, because we'd heard this from several sources, Odell was about to conduct an Odell over America tour. And he was going to visit all the the hot spots, go to Green Bay, go to New Orleans, maybe a Giants visit, maybe a Buffalo visit. Maybe a Rams visit just to sort of check them out, a la recruiting, Mm -hmm. where he was going to be recruited across the country, wined and dined, and he was going to get to go through his high school recruiting again because everybody knew coming out of New Orleans, he was going right up the road to Baton Rouge to LSU. So it wasn't really, nobody recruited him. I mean, everybody wanted him, obviously, but everybody thought he was going to LSU. In this case, he could get recruited hard because nobody's quite sure, at least until now, where he wanted to go. Right. And and now he he is pouring his heart out in a response on Twitter saying, LA knows where I wanted to be. Well, I didn't know that. And I didn't know they knew that for a fact, but he says, but they didn't offer me anything. And he put the A-N-Y in caps. So he's talking about nothing, dirt. Yeah. They offered me nothing. OBJ, bruh. 
This is not this is not a charity. You had a torn ACL. Yeah, what but he this? thought after his rise through the playoffs last year that he deserved some money, some respectable they amount have, of money. Skip, had had the Rams drafted him, and he had this. Okay, a la Michael Gallup, a la Chris Godwin. There was a tie there. They drafted my Cowboys mm-hmm. drafted Ma- Michael Gallup. Yep. The Buccaneers drafted Chris Godwin. Both sides. Odell, yep. o- mm-hmm. OBJ, this is your third team. Yep. They didn't draft you. So they don't have the same loyalty, the same allegiance to you as those teams had to those guys. Yep. And I think you are you you understand that. Yeah, but Odell finishes his his tweet answer, tweet response. I thought I found excuse me, I thought I finally found that home. Well, he's just giving up all his leverage. He's saying, my heart is with the Rams. Right. He's got a home in Beverly Hills. So yeah. literally, he, he went home to home. Right. Well, once you give up all your leverage, then w- why would Green Bay want to even bring you in? Why would Buffalo or New Orleans or name somebody want to bring you in? Dallas, for all that I yep. know. What does OBJ want? What's the financial, what's the financial terms? Four million, five, six, seven, eight million dollars. Uh, obviously, you're, you're looking at, I don't think he's going to play this month. So now we're, we're about to flip over into November. Most people projected November 1st. Well, is that realistic coming off complete ACL? And it's, it's twice on the same ACL. Right, right. Let's see, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. So now to be nine months in what you call them. That's, that's, that's a pretty enough time. Skip, Jerry tore his, Jerry Rice in 96, if I'm not mistaken, 97. Tore his ACL, if I'm not mistaken, opening day, and he played against us in December and caught a couple of touchdowns, too. Mm. <laughs> well, Damn. I saw Rod Woodson pull this off in a Super Bowl. He tore his ACL opening day and played in the Super Bowl. He did. So, played yeah. pretty well. Yeah. So, it, it, that's a that's a that's a, 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 a pretty good time round. You look at Chris Godwin came back. You look at Michael Gallup came back. Obviously, the, the the most famous was Adrian Peterson. He tore his in December, and we know what he came back. But he's like an alien, right? <laughs> 2,097 yeah. yards, it was MVP of the league. Okay. But now the ball goes into Sean McVay's court, and obviously he's sitting at two and three with a failed Allen Robinson experiment. Yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden he says, not the last one that will come from us, as in offer. So right. he's just saying, we're just negotiating, Odell. We just made a first offer, but it's not our final offer. Right. Well, do you think his front office loved him saying that? Because that's not how you negotiate. You don't give up all your leverage. You don't show your cards early. No, that's I'm, what he did. He showed all his cards. But here's the thing, Skip. Right? We're not going to bid against ourselves. And, you know, sometimes people get into a bidding war. You think you're bidding against somebody. You're only bidding against yourself. You're only driving the price up against yourself. Could be. So in that situation like well, that. how badly do you need him? Seems like pretty badly. Well, can he play offensive line? That well, we I'm just going to ask you that question. I, I wrote that down. Can he play left tackle? No, he can't. <laughs> if, if, they, they, need Whit, they need Whitworth a, they a do, little bit more do. right now. They do. Well, the point is, is he watching that closely? Does he see what's happening? Does he see that Matt Stafford has become like – dangerously Cooper Cup-centric, where he he just, when in doubt, he just throws it to number 10. I mean, Cooper Cup is averaging 12 targets a game. He has 49 catches, which, uh, lead the lead, which leads the league. Aren't these historic paces? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, five games, so that'll be 94. Oh, man, this dude is on pace to catch like, yeah. like, like 190 catches. Yeah, he's going to shatter records because he has a quarterback who just throws it to him nearly yeah. every time. And to his credit... He mostly gets open. Yeah. Oh, he but, does. But it's hard to win games that way because they manage to score 10 points against my defense because you're forcing balls and you're going to turn the ball over. Right. Right? You're exactly right. You're going to yeah. hold the ball in the pocket till he gets open and you're going to get strip sacked. Yeah. So I I believe that the F them picks GM and all the way up to the owner that you know, I, I don't think they love Sean McVay publicly declaring, oh, w- we've only begun to negotiate. That's not our final offer. Because they might be thinking, hey, that, that is our final offer. Right. That's all we think he is worth at this point because right. we don't trust a second ACL repair. Right. We don't trust that he's going to have the same burst that he even had last year. I, it's hard for me to believe that he'll have, he'll have a less of an impact than what Allen Robinson is having. <sighs> even coming off a second ACL skip. This is, this is pathetic. I mean, Allen Robinson looks like a shell of himself. I don't understand it unless Matt Stafford just doesn't like or trust him, doesn't like his route running, doesn't like he, he's not where Matt Stafford wants him to be on time. Something is really wrong. Sometimes you can be a great player on a bad team. 
and it fools you and go to a good team and you're not what they thought you was, okay. what you were. So Odell wound up in the perfect spot last year because down the stretch, the final eight games, he wasn't that much of a factor. I think I had three catches a game was the average for about he, he was just 34 percolating. yards, three he just, for he 34. Was just, he was in that crock pot. Okay. He was just, warm, just, just, just okay. simmering. Simmering and simmering, and then all of a sudden the playoffs hit. Boom, boom. And all of a sudden – the defense has said we have to take Cooper Cup away at all costs. And Odell was singled the whole playoff run.